Papua New Guinea is hands down the most exotic place on earth. It's right on our doorstep and yet many people are reluctant to visit because they've been put off by all the negative media they read about Port Moresby, the capital. Well, what if I was to tell you that we've discovered a fantastic way to experience this country that minimises the risk and maximises the adventure? Wouldn't you be just that little bit tempted? I'm embarking on a voyage along New Guinea's east coast, steaming our way into remote PNG on board Aurora Expedition's Arena Spativa. The entire 13-day adventure sails from Cairns to Rabaul, but I've joined the ship for six days of the journey from Tufi to the Admiralty Islands. It's my first morning on board and we've anchored off the little village of Lababia, where we are warmly welcomed by locals on their exquisite woven sail canoes. It isn't long before I've made a friend. Well, many friends actually. And young Luke is keen to show me his home. Hello, so who lives here? You live here so with your mum and dad? <coughs> no, I live with my grandmother. So there's my Up grandmother. So what's she making there? We're milking food. We're making like, coconut milk? Yeah, milk it into the pot and cook it. With fish maybe? Yeah, Yum. fish and... <laughs> what else? Potato and yep. bananas. Oh. Now, now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the village here is totally self-sufficient, with all the food locals need around them. Seafood from the ocean and vegetables from the gardens. And of course, copious coconuts. Ah, oh, instant energy food. Bro, how many coconuts would you drink in one day? Um, maybe three or four in a day. <laughs> Better than beer. <laughs> Very refreshing. Instead of drink coke, you drink a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Back on board, the Spativa is by no means a five-star vessel, and it doesn't sell itself as such. The food is tasty and the cabin's comfortable, and that's all you need, really. Aurora's philosophy is all about exploring the region, rather than wasting days sitting on the ship, and I'm all for it. One of the really great things about this style of cruising is that the ship does most of its long distance travelling overnight when you're fast asleep. So you really do get to wake up every morning to a brand new adventure. And this morning we are surrounded by the Tammy Islands, a group of four pristine coral atolls isolated from the mainland. welcomed us in celebration with their traditional dance or sing-sing. This one is called Arawat, a dance to bring more fish for the locals to catch. So how did the people of Tummy come to be here on this beautiful, beautiful atoll in the first place? It is through migration. Mm -hmm. Some from the mountains, some from Western Britain, some from Siasi, some even from Bukawa along the main the coastline. Wow. So they've all now come together they and... come together and they live as Tami people with one language, one culture. The villages of Tami are renowned for their beautiful handmade wooden bowls and carvings, mostly made from quilla, a local timber. How much is this one? 40. 40? Oh, oh I love it. That's only $20. Really? It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful 40. work. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> How are you enjoying it? Oh, this has been the most fabulous trip. I, you can't describe really how wonderful it is. Every day there's something amazing happens. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty special, yeah. isn't and it? And the people are just gorgeous. They've got such a lovely sense of um, humour and they're generous and kind and they, you just feel welcome. One of the best things about the expedition is that it's not all pre-planned. Each day just depends on the weather, and today is ideal for a dip. 
It's quite incredible actually how much life there is down there, so close to where people are living and fishing every day. It's quite lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. This truly is a once in a lifetime trip, no matter what your age. I'm travelling with my grandparents and I think it's a really good experience and I'm really enjoying it. The people here are so nice and it's really different from other holidays that you would normally go on at my age. Another night cruising further towards the equator, we arrived at Karkar Island in the Bismarck Sea, a distinctly different landscape of coconut plantations, black sand beaches and friendly faces. I think they're a bit shy here. With all the coconut palms, it's no surprise Karkar boasts the thriving copra industry. But the island is also dominated by an active volcano that rises over 1,800 metres. So when was the last time the volcano erupted? That was back in 1979. Ooh. And did lots of lava come out or just no, ash? Not the lava, but the ash. So how long before we have the next eruption? Maybe uh, today? Maybe today or tomorrow. <laughs> My guide John tells me that copra isn't the only industry. Making chocolate is big business here too, with Kaka's cocoa shipped overseas. Oh, that was it. Ooh! Oh my goodness. Cocoa bean. Looks like cocoa some beans. massive witchetty grub. That's freaky. Can you eat it? Yeah. Just the outside. Chew it. Is it sweet? Wow. It is, it's kind of the texture of mango, but tastes a little bit like lychees. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum! So these little cocoa beans are then left to ferment for six or seven days. Then they're dried out and separated by these guys. How much can I one day do that for doing this work? Seven k. Seven? Yeah. Seven kino a day. Kino. Okay. That's about three dollars fifty a day, but clearly all the chocolate you can eat. Is it a good job for you? You like it? Yes. What do you like about it? <laughs> I can't get over how different each day of this journey has been. From huge volcanic islands to tiny coral atolls. Each place has had its own very special and unique charm. No roads, no airstrips, and therefore very little contact in many cases with the outside world. Join me next week as we continue our adventure to even more remote realms, including the Admiralty Islands, where we're apparently we're gonna be the only Western people to visit there this year. Aurora Expeditions has a 13-day Papua New Guinea cruise departing from either Cairns or Rabaul. It includes all meals, shore excursions, port taxes and charges for $8,650 per person twin share. Pacific Blue, international airline of Virgin Blue, has fares to Port Moresby starting at $239 from Brisbane, $319 from Sydney, $399 from Melbourne and $609 from Adelaide.